Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about browser context, multiple page scenarios. So in our previous video, we already saw what is browser context and how to use that with the help of one program. So browser context, browser context is called browser dot new context. So this will create a new incognito browser context. On top of that, we created a page. This page is attached to this browser context. As part of this page, if you open any other page, that is also linked to this browser context. All the pages which are opened by this page will related to this parent browser context. But now I want to open different pages. Two different pages means two different browsers. Okay, in our terms, we can say two different browsers I want to open, not a single browser. Okay, in that time, how we can use with the help of browser context. So that is possible. So we created, so I have taken the same code, playwright, playwright equal to playwright.create, browser type, browser type is equal to playwright.chromium, and I'm using this Chromium browser, and browser, browser equals to browser type dot launch, launch options dot set headless false means, you can see the browser, okay? After that, I created one browser context, okay? Same way, I can create multiple browser context on top of this browser instance. Okay, so how you can do that? Browser context. Now I can say browser context one is equals to browser dot new context. So it will create another incognito browser context. Okay. So on this browser context, I created a page. So in the same way, I can create one more page. Page one is equals to browser context one dot new page. So it will, this will opens a browser. It opens a browser. And it opens another browser. Means it will open two browsers with this logic. So, and I can interact with both the pages. I can say page dot navigate HTTP colon demo dot automation testing dot in. So with the help of this page, I will navigate to this URL and with the help of page one dot navigate. And here also I can go to HTTPS dev dot automation testing dot in okay so with the help of browser context we can create multiple contexts with the help of multiple context we can create multiple pages and we can simultaneously work with these two pages this will navigate to one application and this will navigate to another application so we'll try to execute and see you see that it opened two different instances okay so by default it will close so i'll use thread dot sleep off at least 10 seconds and we'll try to execute again and see the behavior. Observe carefully. So it will open two different browsers. You see that at a time, two different browsers. It went to demo.automation testing done. It went to dev.automation testing done. So after 10 seconds, it will close automatically wait for that. So both browsers, two browsers open and each page navigating to different applications. So where it is useful. So let's assume you have a chart application. You want to test that chart application as a two different users. Okay. So at the same time, you can open the same application with two different users and you can log in and you can test. Right. That is one of the exact example we can verify. So I'll show you that with by taking one chart application in our upcoming 
videos how to automate chart application but it is possible so this is one of the against the best options like uh, we discussed that how to automate chart application to different users so to uh, one user in the page and another user in the page one and we can verify that chart application we have one example so that we will discuss in our next videos okay so this is all about browser context with multiple pages but is it possible with multiple tabs so that is also possible i don't want to use this multiple pages i want to use multiple tabs so that is also possible so in our next video we will discuss about that multiple tabs okay so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and put your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to the channel for interesting update thank you